Welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Oh, today I am reviewing something that not only is stupidly and heavily marketed, but it's actually freaking delicious at the same time. Um, sometimes the two have a major disconnect. Actually, nine out of ten times the two have a major disconnect, but in this case, no disconnect. It backs its balls up with the marketing and substance. I'm reviewing the Glendronic 1991 vintage, 25 years old, years old, the Kingsman. The Kingsman. So the Kingsman, literally, it was actually featured in the Kingsman movie. Um, suffice it to say, these are super premium bottles. Um, not just because they are old whiskey by Glendronic, it's because they're also merchandise of the uh, movie itself. You can see all the accents, um, Kingsman logo and everything like that. It is a 48.2 um, limited run. It's about 2100 bottles from memory. Yeah, 2137 bottles of this run. So it's probably just a few barrels, maybe three to four. Um, it's 25 years old, heavily sherried Glendronic Highland Beauty. So let's get nosing and let's get drinking. Oh, what I love about this, and I'll tell you right now what I love about this is first nose, deep, deep sherry influence, and that sweet, sweet, glorious nectar that is Glendronic. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm a little aroused, I must admit quarter of a century that's how old i am 25 and that's absolutely stunning this this particular bottling run is at its peak no i'm not I'm, yeah i'm not 25 i'm actually 24 and a half and so this i've looked like this since i was 12. you might think i look older but i'm actually i've been looking like this since i was 12. what i love about the Sclendronic is it's a it's a, it's a drift from their normal Glendronic bottles. Glendronic bottles are, are heavily sherried, but they're very sweet, very fruitcake, raisin, um, Christmas cake, nutmeg, cinnamon, um, that kind of line. This has that funky, funky sherry note to it. If someone didn't tell you, you could almost think it had a bit of spring bank in it. That sherry is funky. Gunpowder, flint. I can smell like a slight blue cheese color, a uh, blue cheese smell. Nutty. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what kind of nut. Until I figure that out, I'll tell you other things. Slightly herbal, a little savoriness, thyme. Rosemary. And you know what's unusual about it? A little bit of um, menthol. A little bit of menthol on there as well. Very, very small hint of smoke, but a lot of caramels, brown sugar, burnt brown sugar, butter, buttery fudge. Mm, absolutely delicious. It's just got like this funky beauty to it. Mmm, wow. That is flavor town. Full flavor. Perfectly, perfectly constructed to 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 basically push out the 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 I mean it's not youthful at all, it's 25, but perfectly constructed. It's got a little bit of youthfulness on the side and then some really really funky woody notes on the other. Would I say it's perfectly balanced? I hate that term because just because a whiskey is not balanced doesn't mean it's good, but I would say it is a very balanced whiskey. It balances it right with the funkiness, hint of smoke, and the sweetness, and the just the palatability. It's just amazing. It is it is a near perfect example of a distillery bottling. I mean, it really is a near perfect example of what a distillery bottling should be. Mmm. I'm getting a slight floral note to it as well, like jasmine, jasmine flowers. I'm getting um, a greenness to it. I don't know what greenness that is. The tannin is heavy, quite heavy. I'm getting um, a tea, a black tea. 
absolutely delicious i'm i'm lost for words with this one it is absolutely delicious nothing spikes out at me except for the funkiness nothing spikes out and sticks out like a sore thumb everything is quite integrated everything everything is it's not mellow but the flavor spikes is mellow so you're tasting it it's it just lingers in the mouth absolutely lingers in the mouth oh absolutely <clears throat> oh wow this is this this particular dram is is to die for i mean the blending prowess of these barrels has been and the selection has been absolutely phenomenal one of a kind mm. i don't know what else to say it's delicious a hint of spice a hint of sweetness caramel notes um it's perfectly balanced you can sit there and just drink it all night it's dangerous it's extremely dangerous this whiskey because you can drink it all night and yeah it's, it's it's it'll just get destroyed cigar pairings i mean you can't really get these bottles anymore unless you find an auction and they're about a thousand bucks um just because of the novelty and the age of them so they're collectible i mean you look at the presentation you saw that in the start of this video the presentation is stupid i mean it's ridiculous the case alone is probably worth 20 30 dollars you know um, i'm sure you can probably find it on ebay people collect it it's absolutely ridiculous um so cigar pairings i would say something something quite peppery actually because it's a very sweet whiskey um considering um I think something peppery and robust, maybe a double ligero, uh, a la flor dominicana or a natura fuente. Uh, something, something quite peppery and robust and chunky. Um, thick smoke. It's not an oily whiskey, although it is quite a robust whiskey. It's not an oily whiskey. The finish is long, so it'll suit a peppery cigar. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, it's absolutely stunning. It's quintessential Glendronic, but on steroids. It is quintessential Sherry Highland, but on but on a different level, on a different tier altogether. And yes, I would probably pimp myself out for one again. Until next time, eat, smoke, drink, cheers.